This adventure starts 13,000 feet up in the air above the Netherlands, a country that's known to be partially below sea level. I'm headed to a place where I can walk on the bottom of the sea to harvest some of the freshest ingredients to cook a unique Dutch dish in one of the most iconic locations of the country's capital, Amsterdam. You can see Tessel, the largest of the Wadden Islands and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The Wadden Islands were shaped by thousands of years of tidal activity. It stretches from the tip of the Netherlands to Denmark and consists of roughly 50 islands. When I touch down, I will meet Mart, a captain who has been sailing the Wadden Sea for decades and knows this area like the back of his hand. This is a truly magnificent place, Mart. Isn't it? Yeah, amazing. How long have you been sailing in this area? Oh, over 30 years. Over 30 years, wow. So you really know it. So how do I get out there into the middle or the heart of the Wadden? Well, I have a special built ship for this area. Flat bottom ship, old lady. You go to the shallow. When the water is going away, you wait. The ship lands on the bottom of the sea. And then you can go out and walk and, and harvest some seafood. For sure. Amazing, I'm very excited, really. Can you show me how to get out there? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. The weather on the Wadden Sea is very unpredictable. It can change from clear blue skies to fierce storms in an instant. With these erratic winds, sailing a boat like this can be very tricky. Pull, pull, pull. Lock it. Yeah, lock it. But luckily, Mart knows exactly what he's doing. That is one of the symbols of the Wadden Islands, a healthy population of normal seals and gray seals. And these sandbanks, provide a, a safe place for them to rest when the tide goes down. What a sight. Let's see if we can get this old lady around the point here and settle her down on the bottom of the sea. The Wadden Islands is the largest tidal flat system in the world. And twice a day, this place completely transforms from this endless sea to a desert landscape. And it reveals an incredible amount of seafood, which is like a protein snack bar for these migratory birds. And I'm here for exactly the same thing as the birds, to make a dish called Amsterdam butter crust. So I need to get out and harvest some cockles, mussels, and oysters. So I better get on with it. Look at that. That is culinary paradise. The perfect cockle. And they're everywhere here, just below the surface of the sea, resting in the sand. And these are very commonly known in the Mediterranean as vongole, gracing pasta dishes across restaurants. But the best way to eat them, in my opinion, is fresh, straight out of the sea. Just like this. Crack it open.
Look at that. It's a thing of beauty. So good. Taste of the warden. Let's go get some more. Delicious. Well, as you can see, the water around us has totally retracted and it's like being on a, a completely different planet. And it's so incredibly peaceful here. We're standing right now in the middle of a mussel bed and I've had a really successful time because we've got cockles, mussels, oysters like that. I mean, it's world-class produce in a stunning location. And it's time to head to Amsterdam now. I'm going to meet Chef Joris Beidendijk. He's a Michelin star chef who has a restaurant called The Rice in the Rijksmuseum, a place with incredible art. So it's time to go and see what history tastes like. So these are the world's famous Amsterdam canals, which were originally built to link the ships and the harbor with all these warehouses to bring in all the goods from all over the world. These days, a lot of them have been paved over and turned into roads, but there's still lots and lots of them, which is the best way to explore this incredibly beautiful city. Yes. Magical. And there it is, the Rijksmuseum which is world famous for having the largest collection of Dutch classics like Rembrandt and Vermeer. And I'm here to see how these historical works of art have shaped the menu at the Michelin starred Restaurant Rijks. This is uh... This is quite a location, Horace. Yeah. I mean, when you're creating a menu for a place like this, it must be a little bit intimidating, or is it inspiring? It is inspiring. So like, I've introduced something I call like the new cuisine of the low countries, low food. And my biggest inspiration is, of course, my producers, but also the history. So like uh, all the flavors that have influenced our food culture in the past couple of hundred years. So you're sort of bringing it back and then reshaping it, yeah, almost. Exactly. So let's go cook. Let's I'm excited, it. man. So, Joris, how do we make Amsterdam butter crust? Walk me through this. Yeah, so the, the butter crust uh, is, is made, made with like all these Dutch ingredients, these Dutch green herbs you, you can find in uh, on our soil. And this is what we call Amsterdam onions and Amsterdam gherkins, the pickles from Amsterdam. Basically, you chop everything up, you mix it, um, and then you brought me this beautiful mussels and cockles from uh, the Wadden Sea. And I want to add like one of my favorite uh, clams, like the razor clam. I love these things. Look at this beast from the North Sea. Amazing, really. And so, like, that's all we need. Like, beautiful ingredients. We cook them slowly, put them back in the in the shell, put the butter crust on top, grill it. Yeah. And what sort of inspired you to make this dish? Where did this come from? Well, I used to work in France for a couple of years and I was making like beurre de Paris, beurre de Montpellier every day. And then I got back in, in Holland and I thought like, we've got all these beautiful ingredients and so why not just make like a typical Amsterdam butter crisp? Beautiful. And I can just see all of these flavors coming together and being just amazingly delicious. I'm very excited. Thanks, man. Finally. Oh, yes. There it is. So after filling up the clams, we put the butter crust on top of it and gratinate it. And I made a little garlic velouté sauce with some parsley oil. It smells amazing. Oh, it smells absolutely. Huh? What a place to have dinner. Yeah, I think this is the most special restaurant, like, ever, ever. you know? Sitting in front of a piece of priceless Best art, view ever. lots of priceless art, and having this new age Dutch cuisine. 
yeah. in a very classical old place. I mean, I've come a long way to have this, and I've been <laughs> to Amsterdam a couple of times. I never thought I'd have an experience like this in Holland. It's really blown me away. Yeah, it's, it's happening now in Holland. So the food is familiar, but unfamiliar, and everybody's serving like simple food, uh, quality food, and authentic food, you know? Yeah. Incredible, really. Well, for me, one thing, or maybe two things to do, how do you do this in Holland? You say Prost. Prost? Yes. First. And um, what's your equivalent of Bon Appetit? Smack like eten. Okay, I'm not gonna say it, I'm just gonna start eating. Do it. You've done this justice, it is outstanding. 